All right, guys. Today we're doing one point linear uh, linear perspective. Um, we'll end up getting something that starts like this. We've got our vanishing point. We've got a horizon line. We've got our orthogonals going to our vanishing point. To get that, what you need to do is start with a clean sheet of paper. Now. I always start with the diagonals, and what you want to do is take your straight edge and go from this corner to the opposing corner and draw a, a line. So my straight edge is not long enough, so I'm lining my straight edge up in that corner, and you guys should be following along, and I am lightly drawing a line where I'm thinking the other corner is, because it's not going to be exact. Because then what I'm going to do is take this corner and go up as far as I can and then draw that line. Now I have my diagonal. And I repeat that same step going the opposite way. Any questions? Once you have done that, in this one I was not as precise, so I will have to go in and erase. I've got a little bit of a double line here, but that's all right. I'll, there'll be a lot of erasing. Now, X marks the spot. That is where the center of the page is, and that's where I'm going to put my vanishing point. Now, using your edge of your paper, you, if you have just a straight edge, you can kind of gauge, is this distance the same as this distance? Because I want them to be parallel lines. Or if you've got a parallel glider, you can line it up with the edge of your paper and roll down. I'm going to eyeball it, and now I have my horizon line. Give me a thumbs up if you guys are good. Now, what I want to do, I'm going to get rid of the paper from underneath. You want to bring in a parallel line down. I'm going to say right about here. You're going to want to do the same on the other side. Give me a thumbs up when you guys are ready. Do you see where we're getting a box to start to form? That's going to be our back wall. So now, where those two lines meet, those orthogonals, see where this line meets and this line meets? You line them up. And you join them. And you repeat. at the bottom, and now you have parallel lines. And you've now just created the back wall.
From there, and remember you should be pressing light. From there, I can now lighten up some of these lines. I still want to keep my vanishing point prominent so I can see it, but I'm lightening up these construction lines because as long as I have my vanishing point, I can still see my horizon line. I'm just lightening it up so I see primarily the back wall now. Now from there, I'm going to darken it up some of my floor lines. All right. Now, coming from your vanishing point, I can now go in and add ceiling tiles. Going to my vanishing point, and I'm keeping this about e equal distance. So this is about the same distance from there. So there I have what can be ceiling tiles. Then you can move to where you can see. Now, if I wanted to add windows, I would do a diagonal from my, using my orthogonals to my vanishing point, and I'm doing it lightly. I'm just blocking in on the wall where I want windows to go. Now, if I have my parallel glider, I can line up my line here because all these windows will be parallel with that back wall. Of course, I'm off the paper, so I'm slipping. So I'm doing a couple boxes here. And I'm going to draw this off the page. Now, if you look at a window, a lot of times you see either the top or the bottom, right, of like the sill. This is where you use your vanishing point, and it will determine whether you see it or not. So I would see the top here, and I would see the top here. I'm making this wall now. So I'm taking those construction lines out for the time being. I can always put them back in because I've got my vanishing point but I'm starting to build those windows. Mm -hmm. 
in, in this case, I would see the bottom and the top. And I have the center of the window, if you look right on my horizon line. Actually, I would probably move it up, because that's not halfway through the window. So about halfway up would be here. So Do you see how your room is starting to take shape? Give me a thumbs up if you're starting to see a room, middle thumb or thumbs down. Let me come around and take a look quick. Again, when you're adding the windows, come from your vanishing point and go along that wall. That's all I did. Vanishing point, and I came with a light line this way. I brought it down, put a line this way, then made parallel lines to frame in the windows. So I took my parallel glider and rolled here, put a line here for my window, rolled it, put a line here for the inside of the, the window jam, because you would see that. Then I rolled again putting those parallel lines. And if you look, they're almost equal distance because you would have wall, you have wall in between windows. So I'm leaving room for wall and all of that stuff. Some windows even have, if you want, We've seen these kind of windows before, haven't we? You can do those kind of windows or you can just keep it. The regular double hung windows. Now for the ceiling tiles, you've got your lines. I could even take one of these lines out and I would have larger tiles. Do you see that? I could erase this line here, this line here, go erase every other line. I would have larger ceiling tiles if I wanted. I would use then my parallel glider. All these lines are parallel. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Now let's say that I want to build a desk or even uh, I want to have a hallway or a doorway. I could do that as well. Let's say I wanted to put a desk over here underneath the windows. I would put my vanishing point. Uh, I'm going to have to have it closer. And you know what? No, let me try it. And let's see, I go to the top of the desk here. desk. Notice all of my orthogonals are going to my vanishing point. Now if I wanted a desk, I then would have to roll some parallel lines here. say right there. There's one parallel line. There's two parallel lines. I then come from the side and I'm what I'm doing is I'm building a rectangular prism for some off. Now I come down to this line. Now I come down to this line. This could be a trunk more than a desk I would say. Then I come down to this line. Oop, I came down too far. I would then have a parallel line. So what I did was make a mistake. I had it right the first time. This needs to come this way. And the bottom needs to come out. So, again, perspective is precise and precision. See how I've just created that rectangle? From my vanishing point, I came here with an orthogonal. I then came here with an orthogonal. I then had to come here with an orthogonal. And these are all parallel with my horizon line. And this is where I can add desk drawers or I could, I could make a parallel line here and a parallel line I'm off the paper and a parallel line here And from my vanishing point here, I'm then able to create the cutout from where you would be sitting inside the desk, where your legs would go. Do you see that? See how that recesses now? I'm going to erase some of these orthogonals because when you go to put your wood planks in, you're going to be a 
again, wanting this distance to be the same distance all the way, or as close to it. And always keep checking to make sure that you are on your vanishing point. putting in the floorboards as if we were having uh, had hardwood floors. All of this can be done with a regular ruler as well. Again, I'm making sure these distances are roughly the same. I could measure the gap in between each. There's some arch architects oftentimes would measure the gap. I'm just trying to teach you the principles. They would have each one of these gaps exactly the same distance apart. It can be broken down that mathematically. Emily, you're looking at me like I'm crazy, like it's crazy talk. But do you see how those floorboards are now starting to recess? Yes, Emma? All right, I will go back. Let me get these floorboards in. All right, so the desk. Do you see how far I am away from the window? See the bottom of the windows here? I've got the bottom of the windows, one here, one there. Yes? Let me darken in the windows so you can see those. So I've got the windows. Right about here underneath, I put my first line. My first orthogonal. Then I'm going right about there, and I'm doing another orthogonal because this is going to be about the width of the desktop. Do you have that? Okay. Then I'm going to come down here because that's going to be the, the, the face of the desk, where the drawers will be. You'll be putting in the drawers later yourself, adding those details. I'm helping you build the, the, the basic structure. So you've got this in. Now, from there, I originally made a mistake, and I stopped my line here because I saw a different orthogonal. I had to bring down a parallel line from that top here, here, and here, they're parallel with the edge of the page. All of these lines are parallel. Do you see that? They're all vertical, straight up and down, parallel with the edge of the paper. I then, or parallel even to the horizon line. I then completed the, the uh, rectangular prism. And then what I did was from here, I took that line and I made a parallel line there and about the same distance there. And then this is parallel with the, the horizon line and the shape of the room, the back wall. So that now I've given the illusion of a cutout inside that, in that rectangular prism. Think about my desk here. I can slide into it, right? I've got space in between. 
I've now given the illusion of that space in between. Do you see that now, Emma? So I can then even add pictures on the back wall, keeping it everything. I could even, I could put a picture, I could even put a window back here if I wanted. And again, I feel the parallel glider sliding. So that could either be a window or a door. Now I can even, let's say I wanted to have, we all have hallways, right, in our house? I could do this. I could go a parallel line here with the back wall. Right about there, I could do this. Come down to my, my floorboard. I can then go from my vanishing point like this, attach those lines, and if I make a parallel line to my horizon line again, down here, where these two lines meet, go, and I go over, I've now got a hall. And I go parallel here. That's the ceiling. That's the wall. I can then go, you know where you've got your threshold? And you know how floor directions usually change when you enter a room? I can then go parallel here. for the floorboards. I'm going to walk around here for a second. So this is the basic structure. I can add multiple details onto this drawing. I will go over more of it again tomorrow. I will upload this video. Do you think rewatching this would help? Yeah. All right. I'm sorry that uh, I wasn't able to walk around and help you guys more. We'll refine these tomorrow. All right. This is primarily working on our orthogonals and building those geometric shapes. You see how we build with the basic geometric shapes? We then add the details. We make sure it's all correct before we put the wallpaper on and decorate it, before I put all the tchotchkes on my shelf. We've got to have solid structure first. All right, this will be up on the Google.